Hi, today I want to show you a new feature of the font book in Mac Mavericks operating system. You'll know if you have Mavericks if you go to the Apple menu about this Mac and under the version number you see 10.9. If you don't have Mavericks you don't have this feature yet but if you do have Mavericks you're in luck. So the first thing we want to do is we want to open font book. It's a built-in application so just type, start typing font book in your spotlight window and it'll come up and you can open it and you will see a list of your fonts here all fonts uh, I've got this under user where I've just got a few loaded and then you're going to pick a font I'm going to use thirsty script if if you have more than one font under here you'll need to click on the triangle and, and click a specific one before you see anything in this window over here and then there's different views what we want is the repertoire view which is command 2 or this ABC button here. I'm gonna go to another font that's a dingbat font to show you this. When you clicked on one of these in an earlier version of the Mac operating system nothing happened but now you get a blue box around it and you'll see that under edit copy is uh, available and so we can copy use an edit copy or command C and then we're ready to paste that into something. I'm going to open text edits because it works best for this and if I paste you'll see that the character comes in in, in its correct font. In addition to that because copy and paste isn't all that exciting, I can drag and drop. So I can go and get as many of these as I want through drag and drop. So this is very useful for dingbat fonts. It's also useful for fonts with a lot of uh, special characters. Thirsty Script, for instance, has some alternates. A lot of the open type fonts as you may know have uh, extra ligatures and, and alternates, maybe some ornaments, that kind of thing. So I can take these and drop them into text edit. Now there's a caveat here. When you're in the normal part of the alphabet, you will when you hover over these you'll see that it says a glyph number and then a U plus a four digit code. In the Unicode section this will copy and paste into just about any Mac program. You can use it in Word, you can use it in Pages, just about any program. But when you get down to these extras when they're not coded, if, if I hover over this you'll see that it just says Glyph 293. There's not a second line, there's not a U code. Then this only works in text edit. Normally you had to have Adobe Illustrator or something to get to these at all so this is a nice feature even though it's still limited. What is happening in typography that's nice is that some designers are now code, fully coding their whole font. This is Samantha Upright Pro from Laura Worthington. You'll see this font has just thousands of characters but all of them are have a Unicode number. So she's made this font friendly to use with this drag and drop method. So I can use this drag and drop any of these special characters into any of my Mac programs. Pump that up so you can see it. So this being able to drag and drop from the full character set of a font is a feature that's been missing from the Mac OS for the last few times, I think back to about 10.6. So um, really nice to have it back and hope you find this useful.